I can't you. I do. I always have. Let's just get out of here. I want to go. Come with me, yeah? Well, the evidence is clear, gentlemen. Either you've done the work to get through this exam, or you haven't. And I'd suggest by looking around this room, some of you blokes are going to struggle. And guess what? Just like life, in here, you're on your own. Well, that's enough of my motivational rev up. Let's get into it, OK? It's a three-hour exam. Section A is creative writing. You've got an hour for that and discuss a burden in your life and how it affects you and those around you. Oh, hey, McBride, shut up and stand up. Now listen, I don't care if some of you knuckleheads just stick your pretty little names on the top of this page and don't attempt a single bloody question. But understand me this, none of you are leaving until the end, you got it? I'll give you the tip, Johnny. It will be funny, son, when you and your knucklehead mates are out in the real world on your own. But just leave it, son. We good to go? Good to go. All right. Well, you may start, OK? It's going to be a hell of a lot easier if you're sitting down, son. Space. You're ripped, Lara. Let's talk about this oh, when you're straight. Hot. I don't want anyone to hurt you. Whatever this is, we can work it out. You just don't get it, do you? You're too full on. Well, I'll change. You want space, I'll give you space. <sighs> just don't leave. I have to go back. You know how sick my dad is. Get your sister to look after him. See, this is exactly what I mean. You are so selfish, you can't give me to anyone else. It's like if I'm hanging out with my friends, I'm doing something wrong. That's why you and my friends never hang out. What about your stepdad? You're not running away from him. What? You don't know what you're talking about. This isn't about that. Don't make it about that. This is about you and me. So there's no other reason you're going back? I don't need reasons or excuses or any other bullshit, OK? This is hard enough for me as it is. And don't follow me. Come on, come on, let's get out there, let's get it on. Hurry up, come on, hurry. Hey, love, how are you? Thanks. Good on you. Hey, have you seen Lara? No, she's not coming. Okay, all right, thanks. Uh, sir, where would you like for me to put present for Miss Borfies? Um, I think you could stick it up behind the stairs, you know?
me to speak to you. Do not leave without seeing me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to Waverton's end of year concert. I must say, I'm pretty excited about tonight's program. There's a hell of a lot of work gone into these performances and I think you might be slightly impressed. Okay, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce Miss Bolfries and Waverton's very own Rhythm and Wind. Thanks, Mum. So, well, honey, how are your exams going? Mate, Mother's asking you about your exams. Yeah, they're, they're going good. Got English tomorrow. Oh, English, eh? After that in-depth response, oh, I reckon we've got a budding bloody Hemingway in our midst. I'll leave him be, bro. He's had a big week. Um, so what, what time do we need to be there? By seven. I want to make sure we get good seats. Do we have to pick up Lara? She's not coming. Oh! You haven't had anything to eat. I don't want you performing on an empty stomach. This is about you and me. So there's no other reason you're going back? Well... Sit down, mate. I'm gonna fail you right now. You understand me? Get on with it. I wish Dad was here. Yeah. Me too. be for you at school. It's all right. I don't give a shit. They can say whatever they want. It all matters if we stick together, OK? And this is it. You ready to go? All right. Hey, 
be seated. Prosecutor. I'd like to call Anne Johnson to the stand. You should have been there tonight. I think he's finally getting out of that rut that he's been in lately. Are you listening to me? Yep. When are you going to patch things up with him? I should make more of an effort, though. I suppose. Bloody meatheads next door. <sighs> no. Hey, hold it. I'll have a look. son, William, was asleep that night. Yes. There's no way he could have, I don't know, snuck out the door unnoticed. I turned his TV off and he was fast asleep. No further questions. You still haven't explained why you've done this. I'm worried about you. You're worried about me? I think you should be worried about yourself. Well, just talk to me. Just tell me what I've done wrong. I need to talk to you. You're not going to go with him, mate. Look, I'll be fine, OK? I'll see you tonight at the concert. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be OK. I've been thinking about what you said about wanting to go back home. This week has been the worst week of my life, Lars. I can't think of anything else other than wanting to be with you. Now, I asked you if there was any other reason as to why you wanted to go back home. 
And you didn't say anything. What? Well, I told you why. I found them. Found what? The emails. 20 minutes to go, boys. And I don't even care how long this has been going on for. It, it really doesn't matter. How did you get into my camp? It's disgusting, Lars. Are you all right? This is so wrong, what he's doing to you. This, this has got to stop now. Does your mum know what's been going on? Shut up. He's your stepdad, Lars, and you didn't say anything? You just let this happen? You liked it, didn't you? What? Do you love Get him? Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from Get me. Away from me. But I love you. Stop but I love you. I love you. Do you love me? I'd like to call my next witness, Mr. James Cutler, to the stand. I just didn't want the day to go by without trying to say something, at least. I don't want you to think that we blame you for any of this, you know? So, um, take care of yourself, eh? You are a stepfather! sentenced to 27 years for the murder of his ex-girlfriend, Lara Boyd Cutler. 